Hello and welcome to another video on Chem Monday. Today we're looking at understanding quantum numbers in terms of the number of electrons associated with a particular quantum number and also the shape given by that quantum number. Here we see we have n is equal to 3, that is the energy level or the principal quantum number. And we know that L must range from 0 to n minus 1. n minus 1 in this case would be 2. What is missing between these two values? An integer value L is equal to 1. What does this actually mean? The L values talk about the shape of the orbital or the type of subshell. So what type of subshell are we dealing with here? We're dealing with an S-type subshell. It has a spherical shape. What type of subshell are we dealing with here? It is a P-type subshell. It has a dumbbell shape. And over here, when L is equal to 2, we are dealing with a D-type subshell. Okay, so fine. We've looked at the principal quantum number. We've looked at the angular momentum quantum number. Now it's time to look at the ML quantum number. Okay, and ML gives you the number of orientations. And we remember that ML ranges from negative L through 0 to positive L. Okay, so here if L is 0 and ML ranges from negative 0 to positive 0, your only ML value would be 0. Here, if L is 1, ML would go from negative 1, 0, positive 1. Here, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. ML gives you the number of orientations or the number of orbitals. So, in an S subshell, we expect, if we count this, we expect 1 orbital. In a P subshell, we expect one, two, three orbitals. And in a D shaped subshell, we expect five orbitals. Okay, so this is the number of orbitals. If you remember your energy orbital box diagram, it makes sense that an S, so for example, if we're in N is equal to three, that would be a 3S orbital. 3p, there are three of them. One, two, three orbital. Here yeah, we've got the answer of three because we got three orientations. Here yeah, we would get five 3d orbitals. Okay, and we all remember that an orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. So how many orbitals do we have in total here? 1 plus 3 plus 5 gives us a total of 9 orbitals. If each orbital can hold 2 electrons, that means the maximum number of electrons that can be found in n is equal to 3 is 18 electrons. This links back to the very simplified formulas you have of 2n squared, 2 times 3 squared would give you 18 electrons. The number of orbitals is very simply just n squared. 3 squared gives you the number of orbitals. There are 2 electrons, a maximum of 2 electrons per orbital. Please remember that these formulas only work if you only have an n value. In this case, we no longer just have an n value. Have a look here. We've got n is equal to 3. That's given by the number value. But we've been given the fact that it's a p subshell. We know that for all p subshells, L must be equal to 1. So we've got this information. We can no longer use this formula because we've got more information. So we know we're dealing with a P subshell, L is equal to 1. Our possible ML values, 
therefore of minus 1, 0 and plus 1. And that corresponds to 3 orbitals. Okay, now we've got our 3p and we've got 3 3p orbitals. How many electrons can be accommodated? A total of 6 electrons can be accommodated. Finally, here, yeah, we're given even more information. We're given n is equal to 3, l is equal to 1 because it's a p-shaped orbital. But we're not just dealing with the 3p subshell. They've given you more information. They're talking about one of the 3p orbitals. So instead of having all of the ml values, you are dealing with just one. And for your ml value, you can choose any of the possible ml values. So these are our possible values. Here we're specifying just one. So choose just one. If I like the look of this ml value, I scratch all of that out. So now we've got an n value, an l value, and an ml value. What does that mean? It means of these three 3p orbitals, we are only concerned with one of them. And inside one orbital, how many electrons can we hold? The answer is two electrons. Thank you for watching.